to demonstrate properly for you. Um, other than that, um, feel free to pop in the chat right now while we read us a quick waiver, and then we'll dive right in. Okay. You know, this is one of those things I'm like, okay, I should have this or I'll have my rest by now, but I don't. By continuing this video, you hereby voluntarily give consent to engage in a fitness class. You understand that this class is voluntary and you're in no way obligated to actively participate but may observe as an option. This does not in any way impact eligibility for health insurance coverage. No results will be given in this class and you're able to see your patient at any time. This class may involve the use of heart, lungs, blood vessels, and musculoskeletal systems. It is designed to increase the demand on these systems. You understand the class may include the use of free weights, exercise bands, silly walls, and other portable exercise equipment. You understand that you are responsible for monitoring your own condition throughout the class. Should any unusual symptoms occur, you will cease your position immediately. Unusual symptoms may include chest discomfort, nausea, difficulty breathing, and joint or muscle injury. In participating, you agree to assume all risks of this class. You further understand that although this class is being sponsored by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Incorporated and or its affiliates known as Harvard Pilgrim, our home shall not at any time or to any extent whatsoever be liable, accountable, or anyway responsible for any loss, injury, or damage to be suffered or sustained by any person at any time in connection with or as a result of this class. You hereby release Harvard Pilgrim, its affiliates, subsidiaries, divisions, directors, and employees from any and all legal claims arising out of, in connection with, or in any way related to your petition in this class. Okay, so happy Thursday. Cheers, my tea, my lemon really to you. Let's grab, my friends, a looped band if you have it. Um, and maybe a set of ankle weights or a light set of weights. Those we might use, um, but first, we're definitely going to use some banded work for some hip work. So let's get started on our backs, just as a way to kind of land. And I'm going to hit this computer down a little bit, but you can get started on your back. Just so if I roll up the mat, you can still see me. There we go. That's better. All right, so lay on your back. Bend the knees, the windshield wiper them side to side here. Oh, maybe even a few big yawns. As you wake up, a big stretch of the arms overhead. And then stretch the legs overhead as well. Big early morning stretch like you just woke up. Head the knees into your chest. Do a little circle of the low back in one direction. And then the other. Come on back through center. Cross the right ankle over the left. Tug the left leg in a little outer hip stretch here to get started. Just three breaths. And then switch sides, right foot down, the left ankle over right. Hug the right leg in, a few breaths. All right, keep hugging the right leg in, send the left leg long. Take a twist, right arm out to the side, right leg across the body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Hug your knees back through center. Send the right leg long. Hug the left knee in. Take the left arm out to the side and the left leg across the body for one last twist here before we get things moving. All righty, you're going to roll all the way over on one side. Grab your band. Let's put it up above the knees to get us started here. Right above the kneecap. You're going to lay down on one side. So we're going to do a continuous circuit. The first one I'll show you, we'll go through it all together, and then you can always slow it down or speed it up. But feet are going to stay together, knees stack, hips stack. We're going to start some simple clamshells, lift and lowering the top leg. We're going to do about 15 to 20 repetitions. If at any point you feel like you need to stop, you can stop. 
joins MRX too. So we're gonna do like five or six exercises in a row here. That sounds like a lot, but I promise it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Five, four, three, two. On one, you're gonna hold the left knee up in line, um, kind of with the hip, and then rotate the left foot to meet it. Left foot down, left foot up. We've got 15 of those. Working on some accessory muscles to the hip joint. Really breathing this whole time. All righty, one more. Straight in the left leg out, pull it behind you, tap the toes down, lift up. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Good. 15 to 20. You might go a little slower. You might go a little bit faster. That's okay. Four, three, two, one. Lower onto your back. Bend the knees. Press the feet flat on the floor. Feet are knee together. You're going to press... Out on the band 15 times. It's going to probably feel easier than what we just did. But that's okay. Three, two, one. Feet are going to come about hips with distance apart. Knees bent, feet flat. You're going to lift the right leg into your chest, flex the foot, and then place it back down. We'll do 10 on the right, lift against the band and lower. Little core work here and lower. This one's just going to be 10. One more, then we take it to the left, or the left leg, not the left side just yet, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, keep the left foot flat, the left knee bent at a 90 degree angle. Three more. Beautiful, both feet down, band continues to press out, 10 bridges, lift and lower, lift and lower, squeeze the glutes, keep pressing out on the band, don't forget to breathe, four more, four, three, Two, one, lower the hip. Let's take it right over to the other side. You can just roll over. I'm going to spin around so you can see where I'm going a little bit better. But you're laying on your opposite side. And you said hip stack, knee stack, feet stack. Lift and lower this top leg 15 times. Almost done with one full round. We breathe in five, four, three, two, on the one, keep the knee lifted, right foot meets the knee, and back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You've got this stabilizing through the hip, working on some deeper hip internal rotation muscles. Almost there. Deep breathing. 
two, four, three, two, one. Straighten the right leg out, tap the toes to the earth, lift the heel. And uh, the right leg, the heel is just slightly behind the right hip. Keep working slow and control. You've got this. Two, three, two, one. Amazing. Take a rest. I'm going to layer here. We're going to head back to the original side to do that one more time before we move on from this sequence. Okay. Grab a sip of water, do you layer, whatever you need before we head right back to the other side. All the way down on the original side. Cradle your head, adjust your feet. Stack hips, knees, feet. I don't know why I'm off my mat. We're going to start with lifting and lowering this top knee. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. About 15 to 20. I'd rather slow and controlled and less rep than super fast without good control. These are endurance muscles. These are also stabilizing muscles. They're really important for the health of your hips and your low back and your knee. Three, two, one. Keep it lifted with the foot and lower. Lift and lower. Three, breathe. You've got this. Almost there. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Straighten the left leg. Reach it behind you. Lift and lower the left heel. Flex through the left foot. Great leg lift. Hip stays back. Maybe check in by taking the top hand. Three, two, one. Roll onto your back. Do onto the mat. Knees bent, feet flat. Feet together. You're going to press out with both legs on the band 15 times. Nice and control when you come in. One more. Good. Bring the feet to about hips with distance apart. Bring the knees to about hips with distance apart. So it's a little press on the man. You're going to maintain that connection. And then lifting the right knee in, flexing the right foot, core. Lower the right heel pad. Bring your 10 on the right side. Lift. And lower. Lift and lower. Two more, really slow here. Amazing. Let the right foot come down. Pause the knees. Touch for a moment. Breath in. Breath out. Press out on the band. Start to lift and lower the left knee into the chest and back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower.
halfway there. Two more. Feet come now. They're pressing up the band, lift and lower the hips. 15 times. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips up to the sky. One more. And lower it down. Roll over onto your left side. Nice work so far. You've got this. It's like a mermaid when I roll over it with the bands on. <laughs> lower down. Hip stacked, feet stacked, knees stacked, feet are in line with the tailbone. I'm gonna start with lifting and lowering the top of the right leg. Excuse me, 15 to 20 here. If my brain, my body's still waking up, even though we're moving. <laughs> Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Hold, lift the right foot and down. Right foot lift and lower about 15. Rotating in this hip joint. Three. Three, two, one. Straighten the top leg, lower it down, flex the right foot. Lift and lower the right heel. Fifteen here. Three, two, one. Amazing. Roll onto your back, bend the knees, windshield wiper them side to side. All right, we're going to do a little bit more core work and glute work here. Now, for this next section, you can keep the band on for a little more challenge, or you can take it off if it is feeling a little too difficult. So, come on back. Through center. You're going to lift the knees up over the hips and press on the band a little bit so you run hips a distance apart and flex through the feet. Now, hands can be behind your head or down by your side, just not underneath your tailbone. That's the only place I don't want your hands. I put my hands behind my head. I'm not holding my head. I'm just keeping my thumbs there to remind myself to relax. So then, knitting. Occasion pressing out that band, you're gonna lower the right heel down. So, opposite of what we just did, and try to keep the left leg lifted. Come back up. We'll do 10 on the right, lift the right leg down, and back up. So, you're really stabilizing through this left leg using your deep core muscles to do so. A little more. Then we switch the other side. Beautiful. And then switch lower the left leg down. Keep the right leg lifted. And left. Lower. And left once again. You can do this with or without the band. One more. Lower both feet down. Keep a gentle press on the band. You're going to lift the hips up. Bridge pose. Remove the hands behind your head. If they're there, hold. Press out on the band 15 times. Little pulses. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Back through center. We're gonna lift and lower both heels off the ground. Lift and lower a little back line work. Lift and lower. We've got fifteen, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Heels down, hips down. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. A beautiful work there, my friends. We're going to do that one more time. And then we'll head to tabletop. This is a very targeted class for like this low belly and hips. <laughs> you might not feel like we're doing so much. I'm curious to see how the muscles feel tomorrow. Lift the hips up over the knees, flex the feet, pass out the band, just so the knees are stacked directly over the hips. Let's the left leg this time. Lower the left heel and left. Lower and left. Four more. One more. Good. Hold through center. Other side right leg lower. And left. Lower. And left. Last one. Both feet lower. Keep pressing out on the band. Lift your hips. Squeeze the glutes. Hold. Pulse out on my band. 15 times. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Lift and lower the heels 15 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15. So good. Lower the hips. Windshield wiper the knees. All right. I think we have time for just one more circuit. We'll do one round of a exercise in tabletop, and then we will cool it down with just a little stretching. Same thing here. You can keep the band on. You can take it off. The band just is going to make it a little bit more challenging. So come to tabletop, hands and knees, and take the feet about the knees about hip foot distance apart. So for this first one, we're going to do everything on the right leg first. You're going to stabilize through the left knee. You're going to open up the right leg to the right. So I'm going to go this way. Open out to the right. Not super far. We're just doing 10. So that's five, four. Three, two, one. Then right leg's gonna go straight back. And in, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees come down, toes tuck. Lift the knees, tub our bear pose, shift forward and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Let's take this over to the left. Lift the left leg out and in ten times. Out and in. Three, two, one. Readjust after readjust my hands. We're going to straight back with the left leg. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees. So I toes pass, palms pass, knees, hover, 10 more shifts, lower back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees down. Ooh, let's take that band. <laughs> great, great work. Come on back to tabletop. Bring the toes to touch knees wide. Sit the hips back. Forehead down. Full breath in. Long breath out. Deeping up the little belly to rest. The hips to rest. The forehead to rest. Okay, come on forward. Make your way to seated. Take your, oops, I knocked my whole water over. Take your hands behind you. Cross the right ankle over the left. Take your forward, lift your heart through. Maybe there's just a little wiggle side to side here. And then from here, you're just going to tip this shape over to the left. Peel your right shoulder open. Breathe. Come on back through the center. Right foot comes down, left ankle over, right lift the chest. Breathe. Step over the other side, lift the heart. Unwind through center, soles your feet come together, knees out wide, lift up, sit tall, hinge, last little stretch to your breathe. Come on up, take a nice big inhale, lift up, exhale, let it go. Great work today, my friends. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Terry McGinn. If you need absolutely anything, um, and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.